Hey everybody, today we are going to do another certification, this time the SQL basic certification test. Let's see if it's really so basic as they say. And by the way, don't forget to like and subscribe and post in the comment down below what you would like to see as the next videos. Okay, let's try the sample test first. Count the employees. So let's switch to MS SQL. The data for the number employed at several famous IT companies is maintained in the company table. Write a query to print the IDs of the companies that have more than 10,000 employees in the scanning order of ID. So we have one table company. So we have to select, what do we want? Write a query to print the IDs of the companies. So we have to select ID. We have three columns, ID, name and employees. And we want to get out the ID from the table company and the condition is of the companies that have more than 10,000 employees. So we have a column employees and that is the total number of employees in the company. So we write where the column employees is bigger than 10,000. And now we have to order in ascending order of ID. Therefore that we use order by ID ascending. So let's try this query and it works. So now we can submit this, submit test. Yes, close this test. All right, so that was a sample test. Now let's go to the section. There, are, There's one section that are part of this test with two questions. Okay, let's continue. Merit reward. So we have 30 minutes, 29 minutes left. On the basis of merit, a company decides to promote some of its employee in its HR division at the end of the quarter because of their high performance. Let's first switch again to MS SQL. Write a query to find the employee ID along with the names of all its employees who work in the HR department who earned a bonus of $5,000 or more in the last quarter. Okay, so we want an output. IDs, we want to put ID out. The condition is along with the names okay so id and name let's look at the schema what are the columns actually employee information here's the employee id and here's the name okay so we want employee id and name to find the employee ids along with the names of all its employees who work in the HR department, who earned a bonus of $5,000 or more in the last quarter. Okay, condition, division should be HR. Another condition, bonus bigger than 5,000 in the last quarter. Is something here about the quarter, about the time? I don't see it, so three Richard. Okay, so probably this is from the last quarter. Okay, so let's write, so what do we want to get? We want to get the employee ID and we want to get the name from, from employee information. And we have to join this employee information table with the last quarter bonus table because we have to get the bonus column out of here. So how can we connect this employee information with the last quarter bonus? So first we make an abbreviation here, employee information table, we make it EI. And now we join on the last quarter bonus table, I call it B, on B dot. So what is common between these two tables is the employee ID. So we can join over there. Employee ID equals EI dot employee ID. So now we can access the information from the first employee information table and from the second last quarter bonus table because we just made the join. And now we can make the conditions that we wrote. EI dot division should be like HR. I think it's called HR. Let's try. So yeah, we do get something out. So that worked. Now we just checked about if uh, ei.division division like hr is the right syntax, but we do get an output. So this is gonna work. So next condition, and the bonus, and that is from the bonus table, b. Dot, okay, so we have an ambiguous column name employee ID. So we give this 
Employee ID is both in the employee information table and in the last quarter bonus table. So we actually have to write ei.employeeID so he knows exactly from where to get this column because we have both tables that we can access now in this query. And just to make sure I also write ei.name here even though name is only in the employee information table just to be sure. So we got where the ei division like hr so let's try this again if this gives us an output. Yep, so I got an output here. So this like HR is correct. And let's try the next one. And B dot bonus should actually be bigger than $5,000. And that are, I think, the two conditions that we need. So let's run this. Okay, so we got this one out. Did we miss something? On the basis of merit, a company decides to promote some of its employees. Write a query to find the employees' IDs along with the names. So let's give out the bonuses here to see if this is correct. Let's also give out the division name. EI, EI dot division. They are all greater than one five thousand. Ah, five thousand dollars or more. Okay, so we made a bigger than five thousand dollars, and we needed five thousand dollars or more. So we make bigger or equal to. And now we take away these columns, and now we should have the right answer. Okay, so this was correct. So let's submit this one. And the next one, profitable stocks. A stock is considered profitable if the predicted price is strictly greater than the current price. Write a query to find the stock codes of all the stocks which are profitable based on this definition. Sort the output in a scanning order. So output should be stock codes. So the predicted price condition predicted is strictly bigger than current. All right, so let's look at the schema. We have two tables, price today and price tomorrow. Both tables contain all stocks listed on the stock exchange. So we have both a column with a stock code. So we can select the stock code from, from which table? Doesn't really matter. So we take price today table as PT and we take this one from this price today table pt.stockcode. Now we make the condition where, no, first we have to join the price tomorrow table. So we make a join on price tomorrow p, so this is also t, pto on pto.stockcode equals to pt dot stock code so we have we just joined the tomorrow table from the from price tomorrow into the price today table and we joined on the column that is equal in both which is a stock code and now we can access both tables and we want to make the condition where pt price today of stock code is strictly greater than price tomorrow of stock code and now we have to sort the output in a scanning order. Okay, so order by pt.stockcode. And as scanning is the default, we can still write it now as scanning to make it more clear. And let's try this one out. pr.stockcode cannot be bound. Okay, no, pr is not right. We want to have pt.stockcode. So let's try again. No response. Hmm. pt.stockcode is strictly greater than pto.stockcode. Not the stock code. The, what has to be strictly greater is the price, of course. Yes. So we write pt.price is strictly greater. So not the stock code should be greater because the stock cost is, is exactly equal from the stock code on price today and price tomorrow. What should be greater is the price. So we have to write column price. And let's run this again. 
Okay, so now at least we got an answer, but it is not correct. So a stock is considered profitable if the predicted price, ah, the predicted price is strictly greater. So we made the price today should be strictly greater. The price tomorrow, which is PTO, should be strictly greater than the price today. PT dot price. Now let's run this again. And it's the correct answer. We still have 16 minutes left and we are going to submit. And submit the test. Yes, close this test. All right, that was it. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you could learn something and see you in the next video.